morning guys welcome to vlogmas day 17 today i well i forgot to do my laundry of my um work sweater the past week so i don't have a sweater so instead i'm wearing long sleeves and a black shirt but usually well we have our hoodies that are work hoodies so that's why i'm always wearing my burgundy hoodie to work but anyway so now i'm sad <laughs> but that's okay uh we have heat at work so i'll be all right so to take for, I'm still sick, you know, it's just ridiculous, but whatever. I'm, for work, I have my um, cereal, my chia, kia, everything blend. And then we, since we had tacos yesterday, we kind of finished everything. We didn't have enough um, leftovers or any leftovers, and I kind of forgot that I needed leftovers. So all I have right now is a salad. But I end at 2, and then I don't have to go right to work since there's no more teaching. Um, I have to come home and start baking. But, yeah, so then um, I can have something more at home. This just has to time me over. I'll take a banana, too, actually. Ooh, or an orange. Oh, I'll take a banana and an orange. Uh -huh. So now I have a banana and an orange as well. And then the David's tea for today is mulled wine, which is an oolong tea. And it has notes of orange, cinnamon, cloves, and one other thing. Um, you can see, ooh, everything there. It, I definitely smell the orange. I'm just trying to, the kitchen is a mess. I have to clean it up. Other Dan's home today, so maybe he'll clean it up for me. Oh. All right, let's taste this. That's pretty good. Maybe a little too orange for my liking, but it's a good kick that I need. <laughs> All right, I'm heading off to work now. So I'm done work, and now I'm heading over to the mall. It's pouring rain. That's why you can hear the windshield wipers going. Um, so yeah, Dan's already there, and I said I'd meet him there because well, I was looking what I need to pick up for my lots of baking I need to do, and. I was going to go to either Thrifties or Save On Foods, but then I noticed that a lot of the things that I need, like cocoa powder or chocolate chips, are on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart. So, because um, now Shoppers Drug Mart carries the President's Choice brand. Um, so I'm like, well, I might as well go there. And I like going to Shoppers Drug Mart. Anyways, so I'm thinking about if I want to do a redemption, because um, I have so many points. So if I want to do, like, you can, I have a lot of points, so I could do, like, a $30 or then a $6 or $85, like, the different levels or more, um, and get things like that that I need and also, you know, like, toilet paper and Kleenex and just, uh, like, contact lenses and just other things for around the house as well um, while I'm doing it and then I don't have to pay. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that because some things were on sale, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see, but... Yeah, so just going to the mall now. So we did do a redemption for Shoppers Drug Mart points. I redeemed sixty dollars. I got most of the things I wanted. I still have to then go to Thrifties today to find some other stuff. But I'm glad I didn't have to pay for the, what I got. <laughs> for all of this, we paid sixteen dollars, including tax. So me, the big thing this was like fifteen. That was my contact lens solution, which I needed. And then that I wanted to have the um, Kleenexes, which were also sixty-nine cents, but they were completely out. And then chocolate, um, just extra butter. And then Dan got a stocking um, for, I think this one was $12. That was. And a stain remover and then cocoa. They had the best price of the cocoa at anywhere else. And I got another one of my um, makeup. And I'm running low on food color. And then we don't have any vegetable oil. We cook with um, olive oil, but for baking and stuff, some recipes call for oil, and olive oil gives it too much of a like a different flavor. So just plain vegetable oil. That's why we got the most economical. So yeah. Oh, and then we each took um, a really big thing to put on this, under the tree. So I got the mint one. Obviously we'll share. And he got the chocolate liquor truffles. <laughs> Tripsy is not happy that it's raining. Come on, Trip Trip. Let's go inside. Come on. Let's go inside, Trip Trip. I think I might baby her a bit. So I have her wrapped in a towel. <laughs> They're not laughing at her. And then she quickly peed. I put her under the tree. She quickly peed. And then Dan's like, okay, walk the rest in. And Ripsy ran to me and was like, 
mom brought me up. So then she goes back and she's already shaking. We'll put a sweater on you. So we have two ornaments that are on the ground. Did that break? Oh, oh that's just, just a top. The top. And then from there's another the one down there. There's Molly. I'm sure it was, I don't think, oh yeah. You feel bad? It's because she rushed to the window to yeah. see the dogs. Molly, this is why we can't have nice things. Molly's <laughs> okay with that. You okay. You got enough things. Molly. Or was it you guys? Mm. No. Uh, Molly's the only one with enough mass to take them off. Ah. <sighs> This one at least was just knocked off. It still has the hanger attached. So it's such a rainy and dark and cold afternoon and evening. It's the perfect day for baking. Um, so I have my sugar cookies that I'm making. My friend is, well, she's pregnant and she has her baby gender reveal party on Saturday. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to go to it. I was hoping to, if it wasn't too busy, I'd talk to my boss and see if I could even get like two hours off. But it's crazy busy on Saturday. I can't. I can't ask for it off because it's not fair. No one but yeah. So anyways, I can't. But I still said I would bake um, cookies for it. And um, I was hoping to find, we may go back to Michael's. We looked at Michael's yesterday, and or was it yesterday the day before, and saw, I was wanting to find a little foot, the, like Wilton sells them, their little footprint cookie cutters. Couldn't find them. They have like a baby set, but it, one is like a rocking horse and a teddy bear, so that wouldn't look, I don't know, it wouldn't look that good in my decorating skills, but they had cute little onesies, so I thought maybe that would work. But, uh, I don't know, so we'll see. <laughs> um, so we may go back there today, it's only 4 o'clock, but yeah, we're thinking about that. But I made the dough, and then I want to bake them tonight, so I'm going to put this in the fridge so it can already cool. And then, so that one I'm using all, for, or all from allrecipes.com, so I'm using the best rolled sugar cookie. And actually this is the one that I did when I went, or when I made uh, my ones for my teaching, so that one I know is good. And then every Christmas I do biscotti, so this time I'm doing two different types as usual. I'm doing just a plain one, which is almond, and then I'm going to, I think, dip it in chocolate and put some crushed almonds on top. And then the other one is double chocolate biscotti. So I still need to get a little bit more ingredients for that, because I don't have white chocolate chips. They didn't have that shopper's drug one. But I want to start one at least, so I'm going to start the um, plain biscotti because that one yeah it actually doesn't have any <coughs> almonds in the recipe it's just for on top and almond extract which I do have so I'm going to start that one now so we're going to go thrifties and London drugs after um, and a couple hours later just to um, get the rest of the stuff that I need so far so good with biscotti the dough is nice and almond-like, um, so one's already in the oven, and then this one's gonna go in the oven soon. So basically with biscotti, you bake it kind of first in this long shape, um, and then you take it out, and then when it's a little bit cool, but still soft, then you cut it, and then you put it back in the oven on its side, and bake them so then they have the long shape, and then they get crispy, so it's a twice-baked cookie. Um, so I'm excited to put those in. So I have probably about maybe half an hour more of baking. And then I'll probably go out shopping for food. Um, well, for chocolate chips and almonds and um, whatever else I need. So I have one of them out of the oven. It's a little flatter than I want. I just, I squished it down too much, but that's okay. So. Now I'm going to cut it. I think these size pieces, yeah, that should be good. I'm going to start with this side. Oh, oh, yes. It's always, oh, it should do it. Sometimes it completely crumbles. And then it's just so sad. Yes. And I remember I was trying to think which knife to use. And then other years I've tried a serrated knife. Oh, no, that one. I'm going to just make that. Well, some will just be for us to eat. <laughs> But yeah, this is almost a little bit too much. I should have done it a minute sooner or so because now it's, I gotta work fast. Um, because it's starting to harden too much, like these edges. But now I put them back on my baking sheet because now they're just like a normal cookie or like a dough. So, but I put them back here and then I bake them on their side, each side for about six more minutes. 
and then it will get nice and crispy. Taking them out of the oven. I think they have some nice color on the on both sides. Ooh. And they have to cool all the whole way before I'll know if they actually are really crispy, but that's okay. So yeah, I wanted to make a double recipe, but we only had four eggs left. <laughs> well, I made the Ali's, my friend's cookies first, and then yeah, there was only four eggs after that. So I couldn't do a double recipe, so because it's called for three eggs for one batch, so. Oh well. So I'm gonna take these off and let them cool, kind of build a barrier so Molly can't get them because we are gonna go out. <laughs> we are finally going back home and I'm hungry. <laughs> we picked up pizza though, but we went to London Drugs. We first picked up pizza, then we went to London Drugs, Thrifty Foods, Walmart, and then Michael's. So we did get everything we needed, thankfully. So now we're gonna go home, eat, and then make cookies. <laughs> so aside from groceries and things that I need for baking, I got to add to the gift basket we're doing um, at work for our boss, the vet, we're doing a kind of a savory snacks gift basket. So other people are getting oil and vinegar and um, like brie cheese and things like that. Um, so I got these Rain Coast Crisp um, crackers. They're cranberry and hazelnut. They're really good. Um, they are more savory. Um, and then someone's getting pesto already, which I was like, oh, I saw a cool pesto, but I got anti-pasto. Um, as well as then just these little um, sesame things, um, cracker stick things. And then for my mom, in addition, what I got her, um, she was, I got her like a sweater. And then I know she was, when I was over there, she was mentioning how um, she wants those little mothball things that you, or but not the mothball scent, the ones that are cedar. Anyway, so I was looking where to get them. I found them at Walmart for like $9. So they're just the cedar rings, which I know she wants, so that's good. And then I finally found the cookies cutters. Um, I went to Michael's and got them, but I had a 40% off one item coupon that was online. So I got the four pack of it. So it only came to $5. So I think for uh, my friend, I'm gonna do the um, onesies. Like I said, because otherwise, like the horse, you have to put too much detail in it, and the bear, and she wants them in half pink, half blue. So before they, she announces it, then people have all the different color <laughs> um, treats to eat. So I think I'm gonna do the onesies. So now we're going to eat pizza that has been making the car smell delicious for the past hour and a half. Uh, it's like 8:30 now, so. <sighs> Pizza. We're watching Jeopardy and finally a category that I was able to run the category and knew everything. The category was makeup. <laughs> Dan is really good at history and knows a lot of like British things and just yeah a lot about history so he knows so much but haha ha, and science but yeah well I know some science but history I know nothing about and he knows it all so haha ha, I was able to school you. <laughs> So we are using the little onesie cookie cutter. So this is what they look like, just the dough. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Oh yes, now it's set to 400. And then Dan's working on the next set and then we're gonna roll it. So these are what they look like and I'm going to yeah, decorate half of them in pink and half of them in blue. And then I think I may also put a little heart on all of them right there, just in pink, but. We shall see, and I'll be decorating tomorrow because I need them for Saturday. So before I say goodbye for the night, I wanted to share with you all of the cards that I got. I went to my PA box today, and one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So I just wanted to show them. So this first one is from Bethany in Maryland. <laughs> it's really funny. I laughed out when I saw this. Santa's like, which one is Dancer? <laughs> That's really cute. And then there is this one from Carrie from Tennessee. And actually both Carrie and Bethany said that they started watching my channel looking at cruise videos um, before they were going on their cruises. So that's so cool. Um, I think it was asked in the comments if you would have any cruises planned. We don't have any planned yet, but we both really love cruises. Dan has been on cruising or has been cruising with his family um, in the past and he really loves it. And his parents love cruising. I think they went 
like just this past year and so we're all big cruise fans so we're thinking maybe one in spring break but we haven't booked it yet and things do fill up or then early summer like in may and june so again nothing's booked yet but we're definitely thinking of it or thinking of a different vacation but we're planning somewhere and we love cruising so yes hopefully another cruise will be coming up soon and then this comes from angie from arkansas and this is also a really cute card it says don't worry with a super cute dog on the cover and then just like my little schnauzers it says you're too cute to be on the naughty list oh so thank you so much angie and then i have this card all the way from iceland this is from susan in iceland and actually we were watching jeopardy we were still like weeks behind but and one of the questions was or included the population of iceland is this and this and then <laughs> after we heard that then i was like oh, and one person wrote me a card all the way from iceland anyways it was fewer i, than 400, I or it was like which country fewer than how much 400,000 400,000 400, and i was like and I got a card from one of those fewer than 400,000 people. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty cool because I don't usually get mail, and especially not mail from Iceland. So. so thank you so much, Susan. And then this one comes from Allison from Alberta, so not too, too far away from me. And then this beautiful winter scene comes from Julie from Ontario. So thank you guys so much to all six of you and for everyone who has uh, messaged me or commented, commented saying their card is still in the mail or is in the mail. Um, yeah, I just look forward to receiving it. And this weekend I'll be writing to you six back. So you'll be expecting or you should be expecting cards in the mail. It may not get there before Christmas. Um, probably for the people in Canada it should, uh, but not internationally. Um, but it'll come shortly after Christmas then or... Uh, Hopefully. I wonder how long it takes to get to Iceland. I don't know. But it will be coming. Maybe in the new year. <laughs> but I'll send it out um, this weekend. So that's going to be it today. I'm going to be doing my icing of the baby cup, or not cupcakes, but the baby cookies tomorrow. Um, and then dropping them off at my friend's house Saturday morning. Um, but then that's going to be it today. Chloe desperately wants to go outside as she's just standing by the door to the sunroom. She was being super attached to Dan today. Always wanting to jump or like kind of go up and be held. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for watching today. You have a little mohawk. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow.